Hello. Today we will talk about uh, static uh, static structure uh, of ANS's uh, simulation uh, program. Uh, the static structure uh, solver is used for do analysis to static structure uh, geometries and uh, to simulate uh, the force and uh, the deformation that will happen on the geometry. Let's take an example. If we build. Uh, of simple geometry, for example, rectangular geometry on solid works. Uh, then we will do further uh, analysis on ANSYS. What's uh, as we will see? Okay. Now we want to do a new part. Uh, as we, as I told you, I will uh, build a simple geometry. For example, a uh, a rectangle of geometry. Let's say uh, that uh, will be 100 millimeter, and for this will be 4 millimeters. And uh, I will do extrude of uh, 1,000 millimeters. Now uh, I have uh, to specify the material. Uh, let's take steel AI SI 1020. Now uh, I can't open it in uh, ANSYS uh, before I make uh, save. I need to save it. Then I make further simulation. Now there is uh, two options or two ways to open uh, the geometry. The first one is uh, by uh, clicking Alt and uh, selecting ANSYS workbench from tools menu or uh, simply just open ANSYS and uh, do import to the geometry in ANSYS. But I prefer this method because it's uh, easier and uh, quicker. Now ANSYS uh, workbench is uh, starting up <coughs> this is uh, this is uh, the geometry that I, I had made and uh, this is a solver that uh, ANSYS uh, workbench uh, can do uh, I need a static structural analysis then uh, I have uh, to tell the program uh, on the schema project schematic what is uh, connecting each of uh, these uh, spirit, uh, spirit uh, solvers to each other. Uh, the geometry are connected right here. To tell the project schematic that uh, the geometry I have imported in uh, from SolidWorks is connected to uh, our uh, make it as, as uh, the input geometry for uh, this uh, solver which uh, called static structure. I can change the name of it uh, to any name I want. Uh, now I have to do the meshing issues and uh, for set up uh, the forces uh, and uh, well, and uh, I need to decide what uh, which results I am interested in and want to see as we will see right now. Okay. It uh, will take a while. program is initializing now uh, this is the uh, geometry I need uh, first of all to do the meshing so I click on generate mesh uh, the program will uh, make a simple mesh. You can uh, choose uh, from sizing the size of each cell. For uh, here, I can make it fine, and I say generate mesh again. As we see, the density of the mesh mesh cells are increased, and uh, the resolution is increased. Also, I can do uh, a refinement to the mesh. I uh, Select the faces that I want that I want 
to make a refinement and and uh, select the degree of refinement I want and if I click on update the mesh look what uh, the number of mesh cells increased increased uh, satisfaction uh, by this method I uh, ensure that I will get the appropriate result or the appropriate degree of accurate now I need uh, to say to the program or to decide where is the fixed support where the this part of geometry are uh, fixed let's uh, take this side to be a fixed support and let the second one free now I need to add the force the force that will be let's say on all this uh, face and uh, let's say it's 1000 Newton and here I uh, select the direction of this force now from solu solution menu I decide which uh, solution or results I am interested in let's uh, take deformation total deformation and uh, stress and the strain equal and volumizes stress and strain this is the most important uh, results uh, engineer uh, want to have then I will click on solve or from this uh, icon I choose solve let's wait a moment it will take some time because the uh, degree of uh, resolution because the resolution of the mesh uh, was increased so it will take more time in the calculations and the iterations as we know now the program will <coughs> uh, make me a warning that the deformation is large compared to the model bounding ink box as we see the deformation will be too much uh, this is not the actual scale of the deformation if we, if I want the true scale as we see this is a true scale this is the deformation I will get it's about 0 0.1.1 uh, meters this is a high deformation will happen uh, how I know it's high if I go to the equivalent strain I will find that there is a region that is uh, in the plastic deformation regions and it is not uh, elastic so when the force uh, moved or uh, removed the part will collapse or uh, it will not return to the its standard position or its uh, starting up position so what I need is to uh, I know now that this is this design of this part will not uh, stand uh, uh, stand in the face of the force that it will face. So I can't depend in in my design. So I need to do a development or a improvement on this um, on this part. Maybe. Uh, making it uh, bigger or uh, having a different shape as I uh, need also I can uh, manage views and I can uh, make the mesh not uh, visible by clicking sure as I see as you see you can choose what you want to see Thank you for watching, hope you all had a 